Alright guys, I got that new video. I got that Phoenix Ooh Deer Madstone Jungle My Way 4.7 patch. Uh, if you guys are wondering what it is, it's the uh, you know the Spirit Stone and the Madras put together. We did a vote, and that's the new name. That's the name we gave it. So uh, Madstone 2G uh, Ruins and Masteries. It's pretty much the same thing. Enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, ask below and like the vid. Alright baby, we back once a uh, motherfucking again. I got that 4.7. Um, God dear, Phoenix, uh, Pharrell Williams in the jungle. I almost forgot what I was about to say. So I forgot my uh, machete. I'm gonna go back and pick that up. So um, yeah, guys. Um, you know they they just the new wriggles. They they nerfed uh, the heal. Uh, when you complete it, you lose. You don't get all the attack speed. But you know, you know, I think Pharrell is. Mm, not so good on a lot of junglers now. I mean, it still can work, but you know, I, I say he's not good because I think completing it around, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes is, is a waste of time. I think you can do so much more, you know, just by, you know, playing like if you play Zanko and Elder Lizard. Um, but you know, there are gonna be games that get dragged out. And you can still complete it, but I feel like if you go, uh, if you get that flare, you, you know, you gotta complete it around, you know, 10. Well. Well, that's kind of pushing it. Around 11 minutes to 12 to 13 minutes. You know, just in case you gank a couple early lanes. Um, other than that, I think just Elder Lizard is just so much better. Unless you want to go late. But I, like I said, it's, it's a waste of time. Um, they did make it to where when you finish Riggles, finish, you know, measures in the Riggles, that you do get an assist. Um, or if you get, or you get a you get a stack for assist or a kill, but I don't know if that's even worth it. That's a that's a waste of time because you know if you can gank a lane, well you could have farmed four jungle camps. Then why not just farm farm the four jungle camps? Oh, because maybe stack you know helping your team is uh worth it. But then again, you know it really depends on how the game's going. Um, so yeah, I haven't tried Lizard yet. I didn't really play a lot of solo queue games. Uh, yesterday I played. Four games, or no, I played four games I'm going to uh, work on right now. Cho, Nunu, uh, Tiger, Udair, and Phoenix, Udair. Uh, so the first one's going to be uh, 4.7, Phoenix, Udair, uh, for all Williams uh, in the jungle. Um, another thing is, you know, getting Spirit Stone and, and Madras early. You know, getting that equals uh, uh, easy dragons. I guess I didn't clear that. I'm bad. I can't believe I, I, I messed that up. So that was definitely a mistake right there, not clearing that. Uh, Baby Wraith. Uh, I think I just... I just started streaming, so I was kind of burr out of it. Yeah, I was, because I think I hit level 4, and I actually put another point in, in Tiger Pins by accident. So, um, I was kind of off. So, yeah, let's move everybody in their spots. So, what we want to do is do here is try to hit that record. Um, see how fast I can get the flare. I mean, did the nerves really even make a difference? Um, you know, when you go Spirit Stone and Magic, it really doesn't matter, you know. Uh... You're, you're gonna clear hard. I mean, you're still gonna clear fast. It's gonna be no problem. Top. All right. So, so there you go. I pick up double golems. Um, I need 1,100 gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. As you can see, this game went on pretty long. Lisa helped me out right there. Clean that up and clean this up. So I need one more camp and to get the most out of your jungle. Guys, you see what I'm doing? Um, now, I should have cleared Wraith, so you start red buff, you, you do Wraith camp, you go straight to your blue, you go to white camp, you do wolf camp, you go back to Wraith camp, but I didn't clear it, and then you go to doubles. So right there, what is that, seven, one, two, three, and then three more. So hold on, three, four, five, uh, and then, okay, and then six, seven, and then back ten. So you should hit ten camps if, you know, you clear everything. So that's ten right off the bat, and you do the same rotation over again. Unless, of course, you stay out in the jungle like I did, so I kind of messed up the rotation by, mess by not having enough to buy my Spirit Stone and my Madrids. But uh, you see right here, as you, you know, I got my Spirit Stone. You look at, just look at my mana. Even if I had just one for Phoenix, I, I'd pretty much be stacking up pretty hard. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he got a little ballsy, and I just ignore him. It's like, just can't out to my me. He's a top laner, and I got a level above him. So the power of power farming is, is very strong, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and back, and I think I pick up my... There we go. So right here, 23 stacks. So I did 23 camps already. Um, uh, nine minutes in. So now, you know, starting. Did I pick up my red buff? Yeah, I did start red. So I already got my red buff. I'm gonna work my way back up. So if I think about it, if I clear this four and then run back down, uh, that that'll be that'll be 30 at uh, wolf camp after I do this full rotation and go back to doubles raids and and, and wolves. 
So right there would be, you see it's almost 10 minutes. Now this is what you want to do. If you're not doing how I'm doing it, then don't do it. So at the start of the game, wrap buff, raids, blue, white, wolves, back to raids, and back to doubles. And you should have enough, and then do another full rotation, work your way up and all the way back down. Uh, and you should have enough for spirit zone and magma. And when you buy that, you start from the bottom to the top, the bottom to the top, and make sure you time it to where uh, whenever your rev buff spawns, you're there when about, you know, as long as you have your jungle protect, you don't have to do it right off the bat. Um, like, if my red was up and my doubles were up and my, my jungle's warded, or I know my my red's not going to be stolen, I'll do the blue uh, the doubles first, then do my red buff, work my way up. If my blue's up and I have white camp and wolf camp up, do those two small camps. Um, but yeah, it's like getting the most out of the jungle, you know, if I have like two camps open, you know, do those, for, you know, and then do your blue buff because you have blue buff longer. You know, you guys see what I'm saying when it comes to, uh, uh, stacking, getting the most out of your jungle. I mean, 12 minutes in, I already got three stacks, so I haven't been helping my team, I understand that. I had, sh uh, shit dole coming my jungle, and we got a free kill off that, but if my team is losing I will make up for him now if I look at my levels and I look at everybody else's levels um, I'm higher than everybody I mean this is pretty much the way to play for uh, you know you shouldn't play uh, magic any other way unless you're behind and you just want to do more damage in the jungle that's fine or if you're playing against another jungler that you know that clears fast like if I'm playing against Master Yi or Shivana and I'm playing like Nautilus that's really bad you know unless of course you are a playmaker you understand you know what lanes to gain you know there's a lot of a lot of factors I take in and, and when, when when I play uh, Feral and I just feel like the best way is just to auto farm the jungle and just make up whoever's failing and, and just apply pressure and once you get these items this is what you do give me pressure and we take this tower so blue's up right now, so I might just do my blue white camp. So right here at this point, it doesn't matter. Since I have my flare completed, I don't care to, um, I don't care to, uh, like, get the most out of the jungle. Because, you know, my whole point is to get those, uh, those early stacks. So at this point, it really doesn't matter. Because, you know, I'm clearing and I'm getting out of there. And as you can see, I have a biscuit. The reason why I have a biscuit is because I didn't put it in Runic Infinity, but it didn't really matter. Biscuit's fine, you know, less durations on buffs. Well, say, I mean, normal duration and not getting a, rune, uh, a Runic Infinity. You know, it still worked out. You know, you get uh, pot durations last a little longer, you get some mana back, so it definitely helps. So, either way, I'll put both the Runes and Masters on what you can use. Um, so, right here, 116 CS, almost the most in the game. Uh, looks like we're, we're losing pretty bad right now, 3-0, you know, I made a lot of mistakes in this game, a lot of mistakes, and, you know, my team didn't do so hot either, but, you know, like I said, you gotta continue to play the game, and I think you, I feel like you can, uh, win games, um, <coughs> higher elos, when you play, I don't know if it's worth it, you're gonna probably learn a lot when you watch the tiger stance, because it's not the same, it is not the same playing Phoenix 2 there, now, big mistake by the, the blue team is they tried to pressure mid scene that three people, uh, three of us were bot lane. So you see, we're pushing and pushing. And they get this up for free. Now now they're probably, oh fuck, what do we do? You know, they fail to realize we have an AD carry, Udir, uh, Blitz, and we have a big ass minion wave here. So we actually get a free hit, but this doesn't mean it's over. You see, we take that hit and we all die. Um, they could actually maybe pick up this Baron buff, and red team is pinging Baron right now. So. Uh, if we look, Ari should be going in to try to stop this uh, Baron. You'll see it happening pretty soon. So, if we look, Ari doesn't have ulti. Okay, well, she doesn't have ultis. But we're going to go ahead and put it all. Now, Ari going mid right here. You know, could have easily walked over. Well, maybe not. I felt like she could have gone over here. Because they are taking a lot of damage. So, even if, yeah, if Ari would have just headed straight to Baron like she should have, she could have easily dropped a taunt and... Throw not as ulti. Lebron's not even with them. Or is he? No, he is there. No, that's the decoy. So he's not even there with them. So Blitzcrank actually shows up when Ari's been farming mid this whole time. And that would have been an easy kill if they're they would have probably had to get off that thing, but we get in there, we actually pick him up. So they kinda wasted Baron. I'm chasing pretty hard. You see Lebron coming over there, so hit two. Alright, so we do a little chase action. I think I die here because I get a little bit greedy. I got greedy here. You know, we just gave up Baron. We just lost Dragon. Uh, you know, we're losing a lot right now, but we have pressure on the map. We took Bot and Hib. Uh, you see how the game, you know, you see the timer. The game actually goes on for another 20 plus minutes. 
So, you know, at this point, what we need to do is play the pressure game. We are behind uh, 3k gold, down 7 kills, we, you know, losing the dragon and baron. Just pretty much gotta wait uh, for the next, uh, next baron to spawn, maybe try to pick that up. But what my team needs to do is not fight. What we need to do right now is just scatter and push every single lane so we don't lose any objectives. Uh, stacks right now 15, uh, 19 minutes in. Uh, I think I can do a lot of, a lot of split push, uh, a lot of split push in this game and pressure in the map. Um, right now we don't want to fight. If we fight, we get caught in a Wukong ult, and we're pretty much screwed. So over here you see the, uh, you see Ari getting hooked, Rush picking up a double kill. I don't know why they're overextending. They have Baron buff. So right here, what I'm gonna do is secure my my red buff. There's nothing I can do. You see bot stacking up over there. Uh, I have some fire cape. I see the rest. Feel like I might have been able to kill him if I stayed on him. But what I want to do is just chill and relax and not die. Because you know I already died. What? How many times? Two times. And I died more. Uh, messing with the wrong people. And Lebron's actually super fed right now. Blitzcrank trying to fight this out. I guess so. Uh, like I said, tops pushing, bots pushing. That's 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 a good thing right now. You know, Baron will be off pretty soon. So I'm level 14 right now. If we look around, you know, I'm pretty much the highest level in the game. Uh, when you're playing low elo, Uder is the best. But, you know, when you don't get the member, guys, the flare has to be completed 11 minutes to 12, 13 minutes max. And if you don't do that, then it's pretty much a waste of time uh, going uh, flare, I think. I mean, 14 minutes, 15 minutes doesn't sound bad. But, you know, like when you're trying to carry a game, guys, when you are trying to carry by yourself, you know, in these lower divisions, you got it. You just got to go, man. You have to just let it go and just learn, you know, that, that phase of the game, you know, mid-game, what you, what you have to do. And every game's different. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't tell you what to do, you know, because I'm not watching your game as the games are going on. But what I can tell you to do is uh, make sure you pressure. Uh, if you see open lanes, push it. But you got to understand, you know, uh, you got to pretty much be able to look at the enemy team and and be like okay what do they have if, if my team fights gets caught like they've been doing uh, and they make mistake can we lose the game if I'm bot lane um, you know if I'm not pressuring hard enough I'm second guessing I'm grouping up with my team you know is that gonna make a difference if I group up with a team is that gonna are we gonna win the next team fight um, if it's not if you're not able to read that you're gonna have to maybe either just take a, a risk and uh, and just drive it down. But if you do that, you got to make sure you communicate with your teammates and tell them, look, guys, I'm going to pressure bot lane right now. So you see me going bot lane right now. You see four people five mid right now. So a lot of times when this happens, these guys are going to die my team. So what I want my team to do is let this inhib die. Like protecting this inhib is pretty much pointless because you're just going to die. If there's a minion wave, you're going to lose. Uh, we're going to lose our nexus. We're going to lose the game. So you see right here, they pretty much just need a peel going backwards. Boom, if they can pick up a kill right there, looks like they might get that thresh. Nope, get shielded. So right here, you see how all four of them survived. Perfect. Now I bring Trundle back. I don't know if I get this, so I probably have to run out. So I run out of there. Um, we lose in hip, but it's okay. Losing in hip in mid, you know, 24 minutes in, I can easily go clear that. Uh, you know, I look at Lebron, I'm like, 8, no, um, yeah, I can't mess, I just can't mess with that. And I pretty much fill up pretty easy, uh, with that Spirit Stone and, my, uh, Riggles. Uh, I got, I got Mercs, I don't have my Triforce, I need my Triforce. Um, Blue just spawned, I need more stacks, uh, 29. Um, uh, Ari's, Oriana is actually picking up her buff, and it's not there, because I just took it. But level 16 right now, you see me constantly farming, constantly trying to get levels, and... Probably gonna go bot lane, but I think I want my Triforce right now. So let's see, I go back, probably wait 20 gold. There you go, so I get my Triforce right now. So now I can be able to split push with 21 in offense. I'm good, I have no problems killing these super minions because you get all that damage. All right, Trundle's bot lane, let's see, he's got teleport, so I'm not really worried about him. Let's see, he doesn't even have a Hydra, so he really can't like insta push. So Hydra is definitely a better. Uh, I think if you get Blade on King, you're probably better off getting Ignite. And then if you go for Hydra, you're better off bringing Teleport. Because you'll be able to split push a lot faster. And of course, getting extra sustain. So I'm off to the side right now, just chilling. Uh, looks like we can't fight this, uh, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and push top. So that, we're going to go down two Baron buffs right now. Two Baron buffs. Like I said, uh, you see Lebron back. And I'm pinging Lebr uh, Grave. Tell him, yo, yo, we'll stop him, stop him. That's, that's me telling him to stop. The port. So what I want to do here, like I said, pressure. We're down two barons. 
Yeah, we lost a couple dragons too. I think I might have got one or two, so I usually ju uh, juke the uh, shockwave. Rush comes over here. I think I die here too. The hook comes in, flash. All right, you see my team pushing mid right now, and they can't catch me. Now I'll tell you a couple things when it comes to stalling the games later on when you see this. Um, right now let's run down. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any MR, so I need to be a little bit careful. I got this pink board, and I go top. So dragon just spawned. Dragon's live. So now I go top. Gonna go ahead and push this. Oriana shows up. There's Thresh, slap her. So there's Trondo, so I probably go down here, but guess what? You know, if I'm gonna die, this is the place to die. So I'm gonna get Pinata. I couldn't juke that. No flash. So we actually pick up this dragon for my death now. Now now the question is me pushing uh uh and trying to take that in hit, was it worth it? You know, if I look at the red team, what are they gonna get out of this? I'm dead for thirty two seconds. Okay, so it's not fifty seconds, it's only twenty, thirty minutes in game. They're only probably gonna get this in hib out of here, so all my team needs to do is protect this. If I look at top lane, I'm like, oh shit, we got this turret, but it's two hits. If I look here, the bot inner is still there. So it's right here, this is when they get really greedy. This is when they throw the game. When you when you this happens in bronze a lot, but it doesn't look as bad as of course you see in bronze where Bronze will continue to go mid when the inhib is down and continue to try to push the Nexus. Now, here, they try to push a little bit too hard. They should have realized that I was spawning in six seconds and it beats just too hard. But then when you see that and you're like, oh my god, never mind. Uh, they got caught right into the shockwave, but now they're double, uh, they're, do they're, they're diving the Nexus with double turrets uh, hitting them. So you see, uh, I spawn right now. You see him still struggling to pick that up. Now here, I try to focus Libra on here, and then I'm like, oh my god, what is he doing? But where's his damage coming from? Then I look at him, he's 10 and 7 right now, so he's got his IE, boom, comes in, double auto attack. Get a little bit greedy, I try to pretty much just try to kill this guy, I mean, he's worth it. Um, so 300 gold, I think? No, 300 gold for me, and then 250. So at least didn't pick that kill up. Now their 80 carries dead, um, you know, they don't have anybody to push the lane. So it really didn't matter that I died right there. You know, if I look all around, 4-8 on Ari, 2-7 on, on Graves, 1-7 on, on Blitz, you know, it's it's a struggle. You're probably thinking, oh, you're not winning this game. I mean, mainly, you know, mostly everyone on the other team is, is positive. LeBron's almost got his IE. Uh, my Graves is, you know, under farmed. Uh, mid lane struggles. But pressure, 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 you know, knowing what to do, uh, you know, learning the game, you can win the game by how I'm playing it, you know, it was, it was looking bad from the start, you know, you know, given that first Baron was definitely, uh, definitely rough, Ari should have pretty much just died for it, but Blitzcrank almost made it in time, Blitz made it, then Ari would have made it, so, but, you know, you can't focus on that, it's like, fuck, man, I was upset, I just gotta keep going, you know, if you think about that you know what what that person should have done you know did or done uh then you're gonna lose the game so you gotta focus and that's what i did i i, I was like okay man, okay i just need to constantly pressure top toronto has teleport but it's gonna get to the point where i get my items i can do whatever i want so i come over here and try to take this lebron shows up smite a minion i think get move speed flash out then i go down here so um, now, another thing is, you know, I die here again. What are they going to get out of this? They already took the mid and hip. Are they going to rush the Nexus right now? Oh, they can't rush the Nexus because my team just had a fight with uh, with two of the guys, uh, Wukong and Oriana, because they overextended. Because I'm pretty sure Wukong and Oriana are like, yo, man, why are you chasing this Ooh there? Because they don't want to lose their inhib. They don't want to lose, you know, lose, uh, maybe lose two inhibs, actually. So they brought Thresh, Trundle, and Lebron. So right there, I attracted three people. You see the gold lead still tied. The reason why it's still tied because we you know we got towers. We've been picking up some dragons. I uh, don't really care what's going on. Anything that happens here, you know, it's pretty much a bonus. As long as we don't lose like more turrets or another inhib or any Nexus turrets, we're fine because they're wasting their time. All right, so Graves is gonna back. All right, let's put it back on me. Come around the side. Baron's up right now, so I know that I know the uh, what do you call it teams? Okay, let's get this Baron. Okay, get Baron. I you know I you know I tried him, and then we pick up Oriana. I'm like, okay, so we get this. Trunnel comes back, and I loop all the way around. So they're trying real hard to push mid. I go top, run back. I was like, nah, let's go ahead and do this Baron. So go ahead, and pick up this Baron. We lost the first two. We've been picking up a lot of those uh, dragons. I think I think. We've picked up the last two or whatever I don't know but uh, you know and then okay here's another one about the pickup so this is definitely putting my team back in the game right here and I think I'm close to Ren doing
So stacks wise 45. I wasn't focused on stats right now. I was focused on pressure, guys. Remember, pressure, you know, can bring you back in the game. And sometimes it's, you know, it's the way to win games, you know. Uh, um, I didn't really check. I know bot lane dominated. Uh, we getting us a, getting that free inhib, and then of course uh, losing that Baron. Uh, but yeah, they they made that mistake. I f I feel like if they didn't give up that inhib, we'd be struggling right now. We probably would have lost the game already. But picking up the last Baron, last Dragon, uh, definitely helps. You know anybody that's behind uh, make a comeback. So I'm pressure on top right now, forcing Libra to hold this lane. Uh, you gotta keep your eyes open to see where people are. You know if. If you see him pushing out mid, there's Leap on Frost. Now, I'm pretty sure he can take me. Uh, a, a super fed. So I just take that. Threat shows up. And right here, you know, this is when you gain control of the game. Even though your Ari's not doing so hot, I'm not doing so hot. I, I died a few times. Now, watch. Here's a, a little technique right here, guys. Now, watch my team. Now, this is what your team should be doing when, when you're about to get focused. Now, with Ari dead and... Me over here hitting this thing. Now watch where I run. Now here I this is where I always run. Now one, two, three people come atop. You see mid ping, uh, mid tower being pinged by one, two, three. And Blitz probably gonna just gonna walk up and tank. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back and forth. They can try to CC me, but it's gonna take abilities to try to stop me. Oriana's right below me, so I'm back and forth. Come over here, slap, walk back up instead of back towards my the obvious. Side juke that ball. Now there's three people on me right now, but for three people, it looks like, uh, well, I don't know if they take this. Hopefully they take this. So there's Wukong coming in. Wukong, probably a bad idea doing what he's doing right now. Uh, because that's why. Because he, sh he should not have gone into it. And then, boom. I was playing with him. And we take, th I take that top and hit him. Bot's pushing. So, Lebron shows up to help the, you know, um, the two people that just died mid. When Lebron should be trying to hold mid. And they'd rather send somebody more useless like Toronto to try to stop me. Shrono doesn't put that, that, that real damage out, so it'd take a while to kill me, but you need your AD carry taken out. Uh, these guys, you just gotta have your AD carries taken out. Uh, or, or Lebron just taken out, like Ari or, or Graves, whoever was there. But they don't, just don't have that damage. Wukong, you know, has damage, but it's not like that, that straight up fucking two shot Lebron damage. So, right here, you know, if you looked at the scoreboard, you know. You know, us picking up the last dragon and Baron, and and just applying pressure. Uh, it's just too much for the other team to handle. You know, uh, they didn't take mid and hip tower, but it doesn't matter. They 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 pressured to where there wasn't five people on me. And remember, when it comes to split pushing and stalling times, you gotta make sure your team's ready to take objectives. Make sure they're pushing lanes out. What you know, because if they if you don't, you die for nothing like that. And they're back in base while they're buying. You should not be over there trying to take the hip until you know everybody's got everything pushed up because you know it's just you know you scatter them out it's like okay well how are we gonna stop the dude they're all fuck look 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 his team's pushing mid right now how do we stop this so Lee saying uh he got a little bit greedy i'm like ah, I, don't, I can't afford to die right here i just can't afford to die because if they do if anyone else dies it'd be a problem so they sent one two three four people over here and as you can see graves is left alone it's only lee run on holding this uh and hip turret uh, so we take it, boom, Ari, it drops Zanya's, and looks like, that's the damage I'm telling you about right there. You see that damage Lebron's doing, is something you don't want to get touched by. We're talking about Last Whisper, uh, uh, freaking IE, Triforce, and Bloodthirster. So, Trundle's right here. Oriana shows up, and I think I dip set. So, um, yeah, th so there you go. Blue just spawned, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Dragons up. Uh, let's see. They're pushing mid right now. So I think I just hang around. Looks like Lebron takes. Gets another kill. So now here's another thing. It's the greed to try to take Nexus turrets. Uh, this happens a lot. You know, you know what the what the red team should be doing right now. Huh, sorry about that. Is try to work these outer turrets or wait for the next Baron to secure that next Baron. Uh, but they don't. You see him getting really greedy right now. So right here, Wukong coming with the OP. I know I can survive this. And Toronto's still trying to get this turret. I don't know. Nobody's gone back. But we still lose it. Uh, I don't know if I go down here. I want to survive. Grave shows up. And he's got damage now. Uh, he's got four items. Just like Leron. He just hasn't completed his GA. Uh, we kill Thresh. And the greed is real strong. There's Blitz coming in with the silence. And there's the collateral damage. So right there, they should have backed off after taking in Hib. And... They might have been able to do something, but when 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 shit goes this bad, 
when it's just scattered out, you, you just pretty much have to wait for the next Baron if you're not going to work on that, those outer turrets. Uh, or, you know, yeah, they haven't worked on, you know, the inners. Uh, and then the other in hymns, you know, they got really greedy and tried to go for the win two times. And, you know, did it at the right, wrong time. And they lose the game because of it. So here, with Death Timers being so long, with Orianna just being up. Actually, no, we almost re-throw the game right here. I don't know, maybe we lose this game. So you see it coming down. Oh, okay, this was the epic game. Okay, never mind. Boom, you see, uh, Buck. So right here, I should have just flashed on... I should have just flashed and just killed Oriana. That was my bad. So, yeah, 100% my bad for not just flashing. Killing this fucker. I thought I can end the game. But as you can see, Oriana's got five items, penetration boots. And there you go. So we just lost the game right there. So right now, you see it going down. Uh, looks like they're going to push mid. Uh, someone, I think, I think Trondo was asked to stay back. Nobody stays back. And we see him running down mid right now. One, two, where's Lebron at? Trondo doesn't go back. She spirit rushes into that Nexus. Now as you can see, they're, what the hell are they doing? Thresh is trying to go back. Oh, they can't go back. They second guess. Lebron tries to go back, but I didn't realize they tried to back. And there you go. And she ends it. So, um, yeah, definitely a mistake. Should have killed, uh, what do you call it? But if you look back, just rewind it and look at, and look and see, you know, how far we're behind. And, and never count yourself out. And I know there's going to be a lot, a lot of negative, uh, people over there, uh, or in your lower elos that cry about what I did this game. Um, but remember one thing. Uh, you have to complete your flair. If you want to change their hearts, change their hearts change their minds about you of the deer the god deer then you gotta you gotta fucking stack that thing at 11 12 minutes ignore the whole game i mean there are going to be opportunities when you uh you see somebody overextended but you gotta look at the lane if i go to this lane can i get the kill you know if you're good at ganking and all this you understand how to gank then that's fine then gank the lane and if you get the kill that's fine but remember if you don't have your your wriggles you're not going to get the stack you know so you have to complete wriggles uh, but overall, you know, I'll, I'll continue to talk about the flare uh, in these upcoming videos because uh, I just don't think it's worth it. But you know, like I said, I haven't played enough solo queue and you know played the junglers I've played with with uh, Lizard. But I, I I'll probably be doing that within the you know well I will be doing that and of course doing spectates and and sub wars. So um, if you have any questions, hit me up on stream or wherever uh, and don't forget to like the video. Late.